Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 15th. This is for all signs. Um, keep in mind that this is not a private reading, so this reading might not be for you. I'm sorry, I meant to put that down. So it might not be for you, it may be for you, but if, this is for a general audience of many, so it may not be your reading, because it's not a private reading. Um, I'm just going to see what comes up. Generally, I focus on love. I don't focus on your, your pocketbook. All right, so we're just going to see whatever comes up. It is the beginning of Mercury retrograde, and I cannot speak. It's the truth, and that's what Mercury retrograde brings is communication issues. So be prepared for some communication issues and for your speech to be totally messed up. Um, this is my second try. The first one, I couldn't speak for nothing. So we'll, we'll, we're going to try again here. Um, be, be cautious with your words um, because, you know, this is a lesson that I can learn, right? <laughs> we all can, to be careful. It's better to listen than to speak at this time. And I think Mercury retrograde goes until December 6th, from today until December 6th. So... If you could, you know, refrain from speaking as much as possible and just listen, that would be best because there's potential for a lot of arguments because of misunderstandings. So keep that in mind. Um, anyway, we're just going to see what comes up for today. The first one had death in it, the death card and the temperance card. So we have a major transition here, transformation that is in the process of happening. We did have the world card reverse. Somebody's resisting it. They're resisting closure of a situation when it's time. It's time for this new beginning. It's time to end a phase in your life, you know. Holding on to something that is over is only going to bring you more struggles. So with the temperance card, you know, I mean, you might have to make some compromises, but the end result will be that pot of gold that you've been waiting for. So keep that in mind. Strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a time. It's time to have some strength, courage, willpower, and discipline. And also, this is a card of restraint. Restraint. So like I said at the beginning, restraining yourself from involving or engaging in arguments. Ooh. Wonderful. Look at the reversals. Oh my gosh. All but one and I got the goosebumps and I use this deck all the time. Y'all know it. And you just saw me shuffle and I flip while I'm shuffling. This is meant to happen for a reason and anybody that comments below you did that on purpose will be blocked instantly. Or no, you shouldn't do that because of all the reversals. No. This is reality. Okay? We're not... Life isn't always fair. And shit is not always positive. The main card here is upright. To deal with this negative situation. And that's a clear message. You need to have strength to deal with adversity. And that is no joke. You have to... The Two of Swords reversed. Accept the truth. Somebody is in a situation that is stagnant. It's stale. It's not going anywhere. It's not. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. 
and it's time to let go of this heaviness. And that's going to take strength and courage and discipline to face the truth and let that mask come off to deal with the bullshit. Living in with a mask, not wanting to see what's that fantasy fairy tale? I only want to see the good. That's not reality. The mask is being ripped off. And it is going to take strength to stop lying to yourself, to stop cheating yourself, to stop clinging to the past, to stop stalling. It's going to take courage to transform and transition. Somebody has been trying to escape. This is a card of escaping. Reversed it is. Trying to escape reality by wearing a blindfold. Pretending that everything is okay when everything is not okay. Needing to go within and come up with that new plan, that new strategy, for real. This is like a midlife crisis kind of situation. In which you need to have strength to deal. You need to find the strength to deal with your own truth and stop lying This has to do with the past. The Six of Cups reversed. Somebody's clinging to the past. A situation that was deceitful and full of lies. Because they don't, they don't have the ability to, or they don't have the strength to understand that there's a purpose why things don't work out. This is a card of purpose. There's a reason. Somebody is in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling with the ace of cups reversed it's not love it's not and they've been pretending that it is and now it's gotten to the point where it's so heavy so heavy the burden is so great that it's time to drop it in transition but somebody has been trying to escape this reality perhaps even with drugs alcohol whatever it is but now we've come to this point where you have it's it's time to wake up The hermit reversed. Feeling isolated. It's time. It's time to come out of that space of isolation. Right? It's time to stop living a lie. Because it's caught up. It's caught up to you now. It's caught up. The truth is being revealed, whether it's being revealed by another person or the universe or the heaviness within you. Stress kills, right? It does. Stress kills. 
The more you hold on to a lie, the longer it is going to, or the more it is going to kill you. Somebody has been rejected from, with, from somebody from their past. This is a rejection from somebody from their past. And it's time to transition from that. That's not love. You need to find the strength. Look at, she's headed out this way. You need to find the strength to remove yourself from this situation that is not going anywhere. It's not. It's not. It's time to wake up and accept the truth. The strength to let go out, out of this situation that is not love, okay? It's not. It's time to make that conscious decision. And that's what something is happening. Somebody is making that conscious decision to wake up and accept the truth about their past that they have clung to. Somebody rejected them. They haven't let go. The whole nine yards. Now, let's get some more cards here. What are we going to use? I'm going to go right here. Yeah, it's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to defend yourself. It's time to put yourself back on top. You have an opportunity to go down a new path. And you are presented with this opportunity at this time. Now you, you have a choice. You can stay where you're at, where it's not love, or you can move in a new direction towards passion, excitement. This is the crossroads. Where you're at the end of the road, and you have to choose. Do you stay where there's no love? Or do you head in a new direction and get the passion and the excitement and the growth that you deserve? Because now you are presented with this opportunity. Here is the key to your new beginning. All you have to do is take it in your hand and unlock that door. Oh, this was in the last one, too. It's giving up. I'm giving up. There's, there's no more chances left in a situation. And somebody is finding their strength to walk in that new direction towards happiness. Because where they've been, there it's not emotionally fulfilling. Somebody is making the decision to say, no more. No more. I'm taking the new road. Because I realize that there are other opportunities. I'm no longer going to allow myself to be a victim of this circumstance. And I'm going to stand up for myself. Because I don't deserve to be cheated of, of harmony and peace and balance and love. Somebody is beginning to realize that they have other opportunities. Thank you, Lord. And their heart is, is opening up. Let's 
So I believe that we have an offer, not an offer, we have a woman or a man. That's why I said or a man. We have a woman or a man that is deciding that love is more important than staying where I'm at. Somebody is releasing. They are making a conscious change to let go of something they held on to for so long. And that is no joke. There's been no communication. There's been a lot of uh, needing to defend yourself. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of um, combat. And we've come to a point where somebody has decided, you know what? I want love. I deserve love. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going down that new road. I'm taking the key. Because they've missed too many opportunities already. Somebody has missed an opportunity for stability, security. Abundance. Thrown it away. Thrown it away. Threw away the golden opportunity and now they realize that. And now, now it's time to close the chapter, close the door. The, the Nine of Swords reverse. This is release again. Nine, nine, nine. Closure. It's time to close this chapter, close this book, and begin again in a new direction. And it is going to take strength to lick your wounds and head out of this situation. And today is a day where it feels as though somebody is moving in a new direction. Because they're beginning to realize that there are other opportunities. And they don't need to live in this space of depression. Now, you could be receiving a message from somebody new. Or you may have your eye on somebody new. Or somebody new may have their eye on you. But this is a message of love, a welcome message of love. This is an opportunity to start a brand new relationship even. You could receive a message from somebody new. <laughs> I knew it was somebody new, and it's exciting. It is somebody new. Okay, somebody, uh, somebody that is really, really well suited for you. Maybe sending you a message that really excites you. And boosts your confidence. And this person um, could go, could lead you down that new path. And to happiness. There's an opportunity for happiness here. Growth and rebirth. 
because the sun, and this is a card of summer, and the summer, every, and what does sun do? It makes things grow. It's a card of rebirth. There's an opportunity to head towards happiness and the light when you make the conscious decision to move out of the situation that is lacking emotional fulfillment. So anyway, today is a day of finding happiness, following your true path, and not letting the past memories, hurts, hold you back. Woo! Moving on. We're moving on to a better place starting today. Should we get an oracle card? I don't know. Should we? Let me see. Let me see. Where are they? I guess we will go with... Uh, I guess we'll go with these. You may be receiving a message from somebody that <laughs> makes you excited. Or you may be the one sending the message. Whatever. There's an opportunity to go down a new path with somebody new that is really well suited for you but you're going to have to find the strength to let go of the stagnant situation that you've been lying about hoping that things would change whatever it is you're not a victim and today is a day where people are starting to realize I've allowed myself to be a victim. I have. I'm not the victim here. I'm going to take action. Synchronicity. Interesting. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? We have, haven't we? How many number sequences have you seen in the last... Two to three weeks, especially. I mean, every day it just gets more and more. Have you seen the ones and the one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four? Just running into people. Just there's so many synchronicities that it's really no coincidence. Things are things are. There's so you're getting so many signs during this time. You are. I mean, the signs are coming at record speed. They really are for everybody that is awake. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just not appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. The people that you are running into at this time, it's happening for a reason. Believe it. There's no such thing as coincidence. It's not a coincidence that you run into people. There's a purpose. Trust. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness and bliss with somebody new. When you give up on the dead end situation and you face your fears. This is letting go of something. It is. Finding the strength to let go of what no longer serves you and move out of the dead end situation to happiness. That is going to mean that you're going to have to accept the truth. No masks. No more pretending. Good luck. <laughs> 